My name is Victor Albisu. I'm a chef in Washington, D.C. I travel to see firsthand some of the programs that CARE is sponsoring to end malnutrition and hunger in rural Peru. You see the disparity between rich and poor very clearly there. You see a lot of people that are hungry and a lot of people that need help. On our trip to Ayacucho, we met firing quinoa farmers. Primeramente, antes que llegue Kare, nosotros cultivamos quinoa en pequeñas parcelas para autoconsumo. Gracias a Kare llegó, hemos multiplicado ahora, hemos triplicado la producción. Watching them and learning from them and, and, and meeting with them as to what they were doing and how they're growing the quinoa, not only for their own community, but for purposes of export, was incredibly inspiring. It's a quality product and it's been doing such such good work for all the, all the people suffering from malnutrition. La quinoa, eh, consideramos como grano de oro. La quinoa, desde el años tras años, eh, se ha cultivado en el Perú desde los antepasados y hasta ahora, ¿no? Y ha sido de repente desvalorado, que no apreciaba a algunos por falta de costumbre, ¿no? De consumir. Pero hoy en día es valorado a nivel mundial. CARE's investment in, in the community really has changed lives and, and helped so many people. Going to Ayacucho, now coming back to Lima, it's all kind of come full circle. We had the opportunity to eat dinner with local uh, and technical experts. First of all, it's so amazing to see high-level Peruvian food being taught at the most prestigious French culinary school. That tells you a little bit about what Peruvian food is and what Peruvian food means to the world. For me, I learned every step of the way of the basics and how to really work with a product which is very simple and local and indigenous. And so I'm always fascinated to see the cultural interconnectedness that we globally have. And there was a dish that was made today with a mold. I have the same dish that we make in the region that we're from. It's just that the mold is shaped differently. I just found a lot of connection. We got to, to hang out with the farmers. We got to eat guinea pigs. And we got a taste of where that cuisine and the history really started from, the, the roots of the cuisine. You know, beginning with the grain, if, if you will. Just being able to see some of the classic dishes that were made there and how you've translated them here and improved on them and made them modern, to me, it just shows how Peruvian cuisine has kept growing and still is. I'm gonna be able to take so much home with me. It's really awakened a lot of more passions and it's, it's, it's been eye-opening.